Good day and thanks for tuning in everybody. My name is Mike Cluett, regional counselor here in the town of Milton. You're watching Local Matters on your TV, Halton, which is truly local television. I'm here with my co-host with the most and that ain't no boast, Clark Somerville, proud resident of Halton Hill. Uh, act what the heck are you wearing? Well, Mike, it is, a, it is the Christmas season, so I thought I should be dressed up rather festive. He snuck in and did that. He was completely wearing a different outfit. No, I'm kidding. We are here to celebrate a lot of things that are happening. It's the holiday season. We've just finished with Hanukkah. We're heading into our Christmas season. You're all festive. I've got mine all ready to go because I want to talk about our, my favorite part of the year, Miracle on Miracle Main Street. Miracle on Main. And I don't what know how that looks. I don't have a initiative. camera looking in front of me, but... What a wonderful Do I have my beanie? It is. is it good? Your beanie? It's, my, a, toque. it's a toque. You're in Canada. Remember, you're in Canada. It's a toque. <laughs> they call the it a beanie it. in the U.S. The, the kids call Canada. it a beanie these days. I know, but that's because they hear their parents call it. It's a toque. It's a toque. And you got to explain them the proper way to spell toque yeah. and how to pronounce toque. It's toque. You have to have the emphasis. You have to have the emphasis on yeah. the ook. On the ook. On the ook. And it's a hockey sweater, not a jersey, right? That's right. There you go. We yeah. are in Canada for we sure. We are. We are in Canada. Lots of things that are happening in here. I, like I said, I want to talk about Miracle on Main because I know that you've been involved with it for a number of years. Uh, Miracle on Main is our annual toy drive that started off at Troy's Diner many, many years ago. We're in our 13th year uh, and we've just kicked it off recently at Troy's uh, in partnership with the Halton Police. Great partners. Oh, wonderful uh, partners. The Toys for Tots program did so well, but we've last couple of years we've merged together and uh, they do a lot of Kramer Cruiser events uh, all over Halton region. I know that they were up in Georgetown uh, two weeks ago two weeks and last, ago, yes. and last yep. Saturday as well, uh, collecting toys. Uh, just a, a fantastic time of year. Well, and it, it really shows the impact of it and the generosity of our community. Where, Mike, you were involved yesterday, I believe it was, and it was $40,000 worth I of toys so. were dropped off. And you look, you look at this, this is a local initiative that is getting toys out to people in our community who need them. Mm -hmm. And Tiger's thing, like, come on. Like, oh man, he is such a ball of energy. And Incredible. so committed. The, you know, the, you know the, the foundation is just so committed to helping people in, in our community who are less fortunate. Now I'm hoping next year we get to have the big celebration back downtown. Oh yeah. We... When I'm not wearing the loudest suit in the room usually, <laughs> I'm usually number two or three. You know, well, that's when Tiger's wearing his, his Santa yes. suit. Yeah, normally we uh, shut down Main Street in downtown Milton uh, around this time of year, uh, and kids come from all over the different schools, all over Halton Region, uh, up from Robert Little Public School, which is my, one of my favorite schools. Well, the kids there are beautiful. They, yeah, they, are. They, 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 they collect so many toys. They come down here with such energy. Yep. And uh, Robert Little Public School, shout out to you over there. Uh, and we have like students all again from all over Halton region. Everything is free. We have Ferris wheels. We've had reindeers. Uh, so hopefully God willing and hot chocolate. Everything. It's it's so good. You know what we have to give a shout out at the schools are the teachers that are involved because programs like this when they go into the schools, you can have the kids really interested in doing it and the parents, but when the teachers get behind it, mm -hmm. it takes it to the whole next level. And it's very, um, very exciting for us when we go into the schools as they're doing this and seeing how the kids are with it and they're so pumped up and yeah. it's so good to see and it's so good to see we usually do the the school visits as well where tiger will come in and we play, play a video he comes in with his championship belt on he comes in there dressed all santa and he uh, talks to the kids and the message that he talks about is, is it's merry christmas uh, let's celebrate our diversity yeah. Uh, when it comes to, you know, if imagine, he goes, imagine if all of our holidays are happy holidays, how boring would that be? And uh, so it's, it's happy Hanukkah, it's happy, Merry Christmas, it's uh, happy Diwali, it's happy, yeah. you know, happy Ramadan. It's let's celebrate our diversity and, and poverty does not discriminate. That's right. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't. You know, so and it, that's why the, the, the push for the toys, uh, push for the cash donations as well now that we're virtual. Uh, and gift cards uh, as well, because uh, places like Halton Women's Place, uh, they can't accept toys because of COVID. So we're looking at getting more uh, gift cards. So restaurants, grocery stores, any, you name it, mm -hmm. any kind of donation will help uh, a lot of these things. The Salvation Army, uh, both here in Milton and up in Georgetown as well. And Salvation Army, I've, uh, as you know, Mike, I have a, 
I help out with the hamper program, the mm -hmm. Christmas hamper program in, in, in Acton. So I've done two shifts on the kettle. Mm -hmm. And I usually wear a very bright sweater or something because... Usually or, something bright? Something okay. Something bright. I'll be wearing this <laughs> at my next one. But, you know, it's just helping it out because the Christmas hamper program is the Salvation Army. It's the Catholic, Catholic Women's League. It's the other churches are involved. It's mm -hmm. donations that have come in from people. And it is just so great to see the money that they're raising. We have some of our businesses in town are, are uh, sponsoring families for, for turkey dinners where they're mm -hmm. arranging that. It's nice to see that because, you know, I don't have to tell you this, the last 22 months have been a little rough. Just a little bit. Yeah. So and it's so nice being able to see that that outpouring and I know that um, on Christmas Day in Acton at the town hall and I don't know the time I'll have to find out the time because you know we can I can let you know that they do a Christmas dinner for anyone who wants to drop in mm -hmm. so if you're by yourself you go down they had a problem a couple the first couple of years they had more volunteers than what they did people to eat but a wonderful event mm -hmm. you know where uh, where they where they have a Christmas dinner it's just such a tremendous event and it's ones like that that really that really are nice to see in our community because they're the ones that we need to see. Now, last week on Friday night, you and I were involved with the Festival of Lights, mm -hmm. which was tremendous from the uh, with Rabbi Weiss and the Temple in Oakville. And I know we were both in in, a, in attendance virtually. Mm -hmm. I couldn't go down because I was doing kettle duty until about a half hour before, <laughs> so I couldn't make it there. But it was so great being with the uh, members of our of our Jewish community in mm -hmm. Halton, and participating with them, and singing the songs, and hearing the stories mm -hmm. as as we were lighting the menorah and, and talking about it. It was so nice to see, yeah. and they're all part of the richness that we have here in Halton. That's the way it, it's a, it's our diversity. There were the Shabbat of uh, of uh, Discovery Center in Mississauga had uh, an in person uh, menorah lighting uh, the previous Friday, which I was a part of. And again, it was just, it was cold, we were outside, but the kids were having fun. We were eating the latkes, we were eating the jelly donuts, oh, and, and singing the songs, and lighting the menorahs, and even though the wind wasn't helping, it was just a, a positive, happy celebration. Yeah. And that's what we're seeing throughout our community now. Uh, we've had our, some of our holiday markets yeah. uh, in our downtowns, and, and people are able to, you know, to, to mix and mingle, and obviously being as safe as possible, wearing masks when appropriate. This is my Milton Menace mask, by the way. Shout out to the menace. It's not, it's not Melton Menace. It is he is a Melton Menace. <laughs> he always drops that first part off. But I think the other thing, yeah. Mike, that we have to mention while we're talking about while you segued into masks, mm -hmm. is now about people getting booster shots. We know mm -hmm. the province is changing the the eligibility in the next few days. Mm -hmm. um, it's very easy to go online and do it. And I had mine last week because of. I'm an essential caregiver for my mother who lives in Melton. And I went, and within two minutes of me having the booster shot, I had the email, I went online, and my, the app was updated within two minutes. So we can, we can criticize how some of these things mm -hmm. have been. Two minutes after I had that, I had an updated app on my phone so that when I go into restaurants or mm -hmm. anywhere, I could actually show it. I was quite impressed by that. And the, the, the staff working at, the, at the, um, the clinics, a shout out to them because they're doing the flu shots. They're, you know, they're getting the vaccines mm -hmm. done. And it, 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 it's really great to see how we've been rolling that out. Yeah. I believe it's December 13th for those who are 15 above yes, will be eligible for uh, their booster shot. Yes. So that puts me in that category. And again, I'll go to halton.ca. You can book your appointments there. You can book your appointments through a number of pharmacies right. as well. Uh, and again, if you're not sure of, of what you should be doing, if you haven't got your first or second shot, check with your doctor uh, as, as quickly as possible. We're, we're noticing, yeah, obviously, there's a new variant uh, that's out in the community. Uh, we've, we've had a couple of cases here in Halton and in the surrounding mm -hmm. areas. So we know it's there, but we're also learning a little bit more about it each and every day. And they're finding that the best line of defense still is getting vaccinated, and following the protocols yes. of washing your hands uh, and wearing your masks and remaining and keeping that physical distance uh, whenever possible. And if it's not possible to make sure 
that you do your wear, uh, wear your mask and get checked every once in a while. Do yep. a rapid test yep. if you can find those. Uh, that's the best line of defense for this. And, and it's holiday season. We're going to be visiting our family and it sometimes leads to an uncomfortable conversation with, okay, are you vaccinated? Are you double vaccinated? Or, or now in this case, are you triple vaccinated? Uh, but we still have to have those conversations. We, we, we have to keep safe. We're, we're, getting, we're getting through this. There's going to be some bumps, but yep. I think, uh, you know, hopefully... We're getting there. Yeah. We're getting there. And, and I think if we, we keep following what our public health guidelines are, it'll get us there sooner. Now, I do have to ask, Mike, because I did hear about um, some very unsettling news out of Melton um, a couple weeks back and it was your disqualification from the National Hopscotch Championship. If anyone may remember, we did, I did mm -hmm. ask Mike about his practice for the National Hopscotch Championship, and I'm hoping that Chris, our producer extraordinaire, is able to take a picture from your Twitter feed of your practice rounds, because Mike was trying to do hopscotch on a pogo stick. So he was disqualified right off the bat for that, which was mm -hmm. such a shame. But I think that um, there is good news on the horizon is that uh, Mike is now in the semi-finals for the qualifications of the, the Worldwide Hokey Pokey, which is going to be coming up in Melton. So um, I congratulate Melton for attracting some of these events. And I'm really looking forward to it. Now, you remember it's you put your right arm in and then you take it out and it's your left arm in and... You'll, you'll be seeing some updates on TikTok coming up. You just got to follow me on TikTok for those things there. I want to make sure that that, and I want to be clear that uh, it wasn't uh, it wasn't absolutely listed in the rules that I could not use a pogo stick. Well, it did so say no outside aids. At, I, I don't like being disqualified. I was, I was listed as a leading contender to win the hopscotch competition. But, but you know what? And that is just, so sadly the dream of Mike Cluett um, of being the hot, hopscotch championship of Canada has been sadly diminished due to that scandalous one. Yes. And uh, I think that he has been able to console himself by the play of his beloved Tiger Cats. I did try to get Mike to come and appear today in his Ty Cats onesie, but he didn't want to do that. That's for special eyes only. Uh, and speaking and of that, that, that's a great segue to our break. And we'll be right back on Local Matters with Mike Clue at Clark Somerville on your TV halt and truly local. We'll be right back. <laughs> 